And in this video you will get advices on finding the right apartment for you in Malta. Roll the intro! Lately I've been getting a lot of comments about the accommodation over here in Malta. It's so interesting to know that I've met so many people who moved in Malta after watching my videos, so many tourists who are visiting the islands after watching my videos, and there are still so many of you guys that are still interested to move to Malta. Hence, I'm coming up with this video. And I want you guys to watch this video until the very end, because you might find yourself into any of these scenarios and situations that I will be talking about. Whether you're someone who is coming to Malta as a single person, whether you're coming with your partner, or you're coming, all of you, as a family over here. Guys, I want you to know that in this video I will cover up anything. Sharing an apartment, sharing a room, renting a luxurious apartment, renting a cheaper apartment, how you can find apartments, real estate, which areas to go to, everything. As I said, guys, I want you to watch this video until the very end because I will be even going deep into the areas and the cities where you should be living considering what kind of work opportunity you have. And now, Drum roll, please! I would like to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. Me starting as a user on Skillshare and now partnering with them, it's truly mind-blowing. Now, to put you on the loop, guys, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members from all over the world. A perfect place to get inspired, learn new skills, and put them to work in impactful ways. The classes you can find on Skillshare are covering all sorts of different creatives such as photography, digital marketing, graphic design, art, video editing, all sorts of stuff including classes on building your creativity and personal growth. I personally started using it to get the classes about video editing and SEO marketing which really helped me in my online business. Now you have the opportunity to join Skillshare for free for a whole month and discover classes that will be beneficial for you your creativity or business. The good thing is that the platform is ad-free, so you can stay in zone while exploring new skills. Okay, you guys, as I said, and I don't really want this video to be extremely long, I want to go straight into the point and just tell you pretty much everything that you need to know. And let's start from the very first and basic thing. How you should be finding an apartment if you are still abroad. Guys, please, do not fall for any false advertisement where people are asking you to pay any kind of deposit for you to get an apartment or a room here in Malta. 99% these are false advertisements. The very first tip that I can genuinely tell you is for you to come over here in Malta and start looking for an apartment on spot. And now, I know you might be saying it's very expensive to come to Malta and look for an apartment straight away. No, I will suggest you, even if you have a budget of 50 euros or 100 euros, to pay for your first few days in Malta, you can get yourself a hostel where you can share a room and honestly, you need a day up to two days for you to find the right apartment here in Malta. The opportunities are endless to find an apartment. There is a reason why Malta is being called concrete jungle. There are so many apartments that are still available, but they are coming at a price point and we are coming to the prices later in the video. Being here in Malta, it's way more easier for you to find an apartment rather than looking online, unless, unless you're going through a real estate agent, which is legit. However, I want you to know that what is portrayed on the photos or even on the videos, it might be something completely different when you're coming over here in real life. Hence, if I were you, I would have more likely pay 100 euros to stay in a hostel or a hotel and look for an apartment on spot. Now, finding a room, a sharing apartment. My genuine advice for people who are moving to Malta would be as I said, come over here on the island, stay in a hostel and start looking for job opportunities if you don't have any by going into restaurants in the catering industry. Everyone that works as a waiter, as a supervisor, assistant manager or whatsoever into the catering industry most likely will know someone who is sharing an apartment. And I'm telling you this 
from my personal experience by meeting so many people over here on the island. Some people that I met online and that are watching my videos, they told me that they moved to Malta and they rented a hostel or a hotel and they were looking for apartments straight on point and anytime when they were going for dinner or for drinks, when they were chatting with the waiters, they were saying that they just moved to Malta and the waiters was telling them, if you need an accommodation, I do have a room in my sharing apartment. Guys, this is kind of like the easiest way to you to find someone on spot, get to know the person, then go into their apartment, check the situation and decide whether you would like to move or no. The other thing is for you to look for these apartments or sharing rooms on the Facebook pages. Just go on Facebook and write down sharing apartment in Malta and you will find all the groups where you can find yourself an accommodation. Now on these Facebook pages, not only that you have a sharing apartment, you could actually find an apartment directly from the landlord. And in this way, you will be even able to bargain the price with the landlord directly. The last thing that I would like to say is if you're getting an apartment through real estate agency, I want you guys to know that there are costs that you need to pay once you sign the deal with the landlord through the real estate agency. You need to pay 18% on the first month, which is VAT. Let me take a glass of water and we're gonna continue with the video. Now guys, I'm gonna put you into the picture of the entire island. This island has so much to offer and according to where you will be living, I'm going to be covering the areas if you're coming here as a family, if you're coming here as a single person, if you're coming and you're someone who would like to stay in a more quiet area, or if you're someone who would like the nightlife. Let's start from, from the nightlife, because it was the last thing that I mentioned. If you're someone who likes to go party, who likes to go after party straight to work, 100% the area where you should be looking for something, it's St. Julian's or straight into Pacheville, which is the district inside St. Julian's where the nightlife is happening. Over here, a studio apartment, you might be able to find it for 600, 700 or 800 euros. Anything that is one bedroom or two bedroom apartment, it's starting from the price point of 800 euros onwards. This is what I'm mentioning about the Pacheville itself. St. Julian's, from the other hand, it all depends on what kind of area in St. Julian's you're living, whether it's more the Poshi side, where is Port Tommaso, Laguna Marina area, or Pembroke, which is very close to St. Julian's as well. These are the areas that are rather more expensive. St. Julian's has old buildings as well, but still the starting price, let's say for one bedroom apartment, would be eight, 850 euros. And this is after bargain because online the prices that you will find, they start from 900 euros. And yes, as I said, you can bargain with the real estate agents and also you can bargain with the landlords directly. If you are someone who would like to move to Malta and you would like to live in, let's say, more prime location and you would not like to spend more time in the buses or money for taxis and stuff like that, 100% this would be an area for you which is called Sliema. Sliema is the area where you guys will find gaming companies, catering industry, hospitality, pretty much everything. It's very easy for you to find a all year around job opportunity, whether it's something that you have qualified for or if it's something, let's say, from the very beginning, let's say you're someone who would like to work as a dishwasher or as a cleaner whatsoever. However, you need to pay attention that this is also a very expensive area to live in Malta. But if you would like to share a room, hold on a minute. Sharing a room, guys, nowadays I'm chatting with so many expats that are living over here in Malta. There is nothing below 350 euros. Nothing. Honestly, it's, very, it's pretty much impossible to find something that is less than 350. Everything starts from 350 euros and it's going up to 600 euros for a room. And I know it's a lot of money, especially considering that kind of an average wage over here in Malta per month is around 1,200 euros. That's pretty much half of your salary to go into only a room. That's why so many people are moving over here in Malta to work full-time and part-time as well. But more about this in future videos and also you can check the rest of the videos that I have already posted. Why am I talking like, you know, those dolls where you go in the car like and they start 
That's how I'm talking today. What's wrong with me? The next very important thing that I would like to say, guys, it's if you are moving in Malta as a family. And I will be telling you several areas that you should look for. Prime area, it's Mosta. It's a beautiful city where people can live and I even did a dedicated video about it. I'm gonna link it up over here and in the description of the video as well. Mosta, in my opinion, it's amazing for families. There's so many foreign families that are living in Malta and they decided to stay in Mosta because you have pretty much everything over there as a family. You have schools, you have kindergartens, everything. Aside of that, there are parks where you can go out. It's very central area, so you're pretty much on a 15 minutes drive to everywhere. Sliema or the public beaches, wherever you are. Another area that I would suggest for families, if you're someone that could splurge around two to 3,000 euros a month, would be Sliema area, especially the one near the shopping mall. You have Fort Cambridge apartments and you have Tinia Seafront apartments as well. They do come at a price tag, 100%, especially if you would like to have a three or four bedroom apartments, they can even go up to 4,000 euros a month, but you will be able to find something even that it's 2,000, 2,500 euros. But that would be most probably one or maximum two bedroom apartments on a lower floor. Why I'm suggesting this area is because it's, as I mentioned, it's very close to the shopping mall. It's on a walking distance of pretty much everything. And the only thing that you need to do is basically get a taxi which is maybe it's five to six euros to get to the first high school or university as well. Guys, there is so much to talk about the accommodation and there is so much to talk about the areas where you should be living considering in what kind of situation you are. Let's say you're someone that is working in the gaming sector and in this way I will suggest you for you to stay Sliema, St. Julian's or Sui'i. This is in Maltese pronunciation but I'm pretty sure when you read it you will say Sui'i. Guys, these are the areas where you will have a lot of expats who are in the age range between 20 and 40, let's say these, these generations. These are people that they moved to Malta to work in the gaming sector and they're living very close to Sliem and St. Julia's, which is everything on a walking distance or a five euros with taxi. Many expats who are working in the gaming sector are not opting to get a car, so they would like to stay into this prime area. But as I mentioned, the rents over here are way more expensive. Moving on, if you're someone who would like to stay into, let's say, more of a quiet area, I am suggesting you the south part of Malta. For those that would like to have the ultimate silent and relaxing area would be Rendi and Zuri. These are, in my opinion, the most beautiful towns in Malta but you need to understand that predominantly the people that are living in these areas are locals and they're so warm and welcoming that they would not give you that dirty look. You know what I mean? However, from the other side, if you are someone who doesn't really care where is he living but would like to go into something more cheaper, go to the north, go to Bujiba, go to St. Paul's Bay, go to Meliha. These are the areas where you will find something at a very affordable price point. And mind you, these are the areas that they have the majority of the expats living. Predominantly in Bujiba area are my fellows from the Balkan countries. Because if you didn't know who am I, I'm Alex, I live in Malta, but I'm coming originally from Republic of Macedonia. Guys, as I mentioned, in this area you will find expats from the Balkan countries, but you will find expats from pretty much everywhere, honestly, from South Asia, from Africa, from any part of the European continent, people from European Union and non-European Union. It's very, how to say, multicultural, multinational area, Bujiba. And there is also a very good nightlife over the summertime, but the entire north part of Malta over the winter time, it's pretty dead. I am pretty sure that I covered up pretty much everything that you need to know about the accommodation in Malta. And I'm 100% sure that you guys are going to have further questions. I want you guys to leave the comments in the comment section of this video. And for the first three days, I'll be answering them all straight away. And then I will start returning every like Sunday and answer the further questions that I will find on this video. Because I know that my videos are constantly generating views, considering that a lot of people are interested to come over here in Malta, tourists or people that would like to move. <sighs> I hope I didn't bore you in this video because I've been like drr, 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 talking non-stop. 
If you guys enjoyed this video and if you did get information that you needed, please like the video down below and don't forget to smash that subscribe button as well. And until I see you in my next one, bye.